to Jay Diamond and I'm back with another video. Guys, I am so excited for this video today. As you can see by the title, it's going to be a wig dyeing video. I'm super excited to dye this freaking wig, y'all. Yeah. Y'all don't even understand. Like, I'm literally so hyped for this video right now. I'm kind of nervous though. I'm not really an expert at wig dyeing. I have dyed like a couple wigs in my past. So I have some experience, but I'm not an expert, like I said. So we're gonna see how this goes. I am dyeing my wig for Fred Fest. If you don't know what Fred Fest is or you haven't watched my Fred Fest vlog, Fred Fest is basically this huge party weekend that my school has every single year. And so you know I have to pop up for the party weekend. So I'm gonna dye this wig like super crazy. I have so much inspo for this wig look. I'm super nervous because Fred Fest literally starts tomorrow. And so if this wig doesn't come out how I want it to, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do. But I think I got this, so yeah, without further ado, let's just hop straight into the video. So I do have a few packages to open for this video, so we're gonna hop straight into that right now. Also, don't mind how crazy I look, I literally look so hit right now, but I'm doing my hair today, so just, just wait for the pop out. So the first package was just my black dye. I believe in here are the other dyes that I'm gonna be using, but let's see. Wait, what the heck? They sent me two neon pinks. So I have neon pink right here. This is like a really like hot type of pink. And then I also have a baby pink. It's called Cotton Candy. And these are all Adore dyes. If you want to know the colors, this one is 190. The hot pink is 140. And then the jet black is 121. I believe this next package is the tripod stand yeah it definitely is so this is the don c high-end wig stand tripod also i'll probably link everything that i use in this video in my description so if you want to get these products i'll definitely have the links down in my description below but let me go ahead and open this because i want to have the wig stand up before i open up the mannequin head okay so this is the full tripod it actually gets very tall which i love also i didn't mention where i got it from all of these products i ordered from amazon so i'm actually just gonna link everything in my amazon storefront and then i'll have the link to my storefront in my description but yeah when i was looking on amazon to find a, a wig tripod i literally couldn't find like a tall one all of the ones that i was looking at were like really small like, that you're supposed to like put on a table and i wanted a big one because i don't really have any tables that i can put it on in my room and so this one is like super perfect because it gets really tall and along with the tripod it also comes with t-pins that you can stick into the mannequin head to hold the wig up it comes with a wig cap and a comb i actually just looked deeper into the box and it comes with more so it comes with this like measuring tape and then it comes with these two clips so this last package is definitely my mannequin head and y'all i'm literally so excited to open up this mannequin head like i don't know why i'm so excited but it's just so freaking cute and i want to see it in person this is so cute look how cute she is y'all she is so cute and the mannequin head also comes with t-pins as well these i'm definitely going to need to hold my wig onto her head so yeah i'm glad they came with a bunch of these i'm literally obsessed with her and she comes with like falsies that's so cute ah she's literally so cute and like you can move it around it's very sturdy i actually didn't think it was going to be this sturdy okay so i moved you guys up so you can just better see what i'm going to be doing to the wig so I stuck some T-pins in the wig and I just have it nice and sturdy on the head now. I went and gave her a little brush because it has been a minute so she's looking a little rough right now. But yeah, this is the blonde wig I'm going to be dyeing. So let's get into the inspo of this look. So I basically want to do half and half. On this side of the wig, I want to do the base as baby pink. And then I want to do hot pink and black leopard print on top. And then on this side of the wig, I want to do hot pink and black stripes going this way. And so, yeah, I'm not sure how much dye is going to be used for this side of the head. So depending on how much pink dye I have left for this side, I might do hot pink, baby pink, and black stripes. But honestly, we're just going to go along with it and just, just see how it goes. 
So since I am doing like patterns on the hair, I'm gonna be basically painting the dye with like one of my paintbrushes that I have. But before I do that, I just wanna straighten her up a little bit because I want the hair as straight as possible so that when I do install the wig, all of the designs that I dyed are like nice and straight, if you get what I'm saying. Like I don't want them to look weird because it's like, like wavy a little bit. So I'm gonna just straighten her up and then we're gonna start dyeing. Okay, so she's straightened now. I also changed into something that I don't really mind getting dyed on. I literally already have tattoo ink on this shirt, so I don't really care about it. And then I have my pink gloves. I've opened up all the dyes, so I'm just gonna keep all of them right here. And then these are the two paintbrushes that I'm gonna be using to paint the designs. So let's get started, I'm so excited. Okay, so I don't need these paintbrushes just yet. The first step is to just take this whole half of the wig and dye it baby pink so i'm gonna split her down in the middle and then i'm gonna have this side put up okay so now that we have the two sides separated i'm just gonna go ahead and with this cotton candy pink and start dyeing this whole side okay so this side is all done i'm just combing it out now so it could be nice and flat for when i paint the designs this pink is super freaking cute but i think it is gonna get more like baby pink like definitely get lighter once i rinse it out so i'm not judging the full color yet but this is a really nice pink but yeah i'm just trying to get it nice and straight nice and even so that i can start doing the designs this is how it looks in the back i think i did a pretty good job of like separating the parts it looks pretty good honestly okay so i got my paintbrush and the neon pink dye and I'm gonna go ahead and just start making little pink spots on it, which is basically gonna be like the inner part of the leopard print. I'm not gonna lie y'all, I'm super scared because I just don't wanna mess this up, but I'm gonna start really small. Okay, so we have a little dot right there. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and start the black now because I just want to see how one of them is gonna look so I know like what's the fix or whatever. Oh my god, I'm literally so scared. Okay, hold up. That actually looks so freaking good. Okay, I'm gonna continue doing the pink spots now and then I'm gonna go back in with the black after I'm done. Come back when you 
so this side is all done yeah i literally bodied that like you cannot say that i did not body that leopard print this is so freaking cute i'm just really hoping that it still looks this way once it's like washed blow dried straightened but you know we're gonna hope for the best right now it looks super freaking cute i didn't put any on like the ends i'm debating whether or not i should like color the ends and do dark pink like highlights right here honestly i might just do it so i just went ahead and took the other side out i don't know why i'm like nervous to do this side now but honestly we're just gonna go ahead and start because i don't want to think about it too much okay guys so i'm just letting the dye set in for about like 35 minutes now i'm literally so obsessed how this turned out like look at that print i literally did that i freaking did that it started to drip a little like in the black but honestly it looks tough so i don't even care i literally cannot wait to see after i wash it out and style it and then this is how it looks from the front i think it's gonna look super freaking cute too sexy for that jack yeah yeah okay all right that's fine okay okay i'm feeling too sexy to accept requests and i'm way too sexy to go on protecting and she popped a tesla now she gonna let you okay all right that's fine okay yeah oh my freaking god i'm literally too obsessed with this wig right now i'm so happy with the way it turned out i honestly didn't think it was gonna turn out this fire let me know down in my comment section right now if i should start doing more wig dyeing videos because i think that's what it's giving make sure to go follow my instagram at dj diamond and stay tuned for my pictures in this wig make sure to leave a comment down below letting me know any other video suggestions you guys have for me I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys as always. And I'll see you in my next video. I just gotta know. Cause you're